Before this episode begins, I've decided to change the content I make overall on this channel. Uh, from here on out, I won't be uploading any gaming videos. Instead, all gaming content that I make will be going on a new group channel that myself, John, and Jeremy from the podcast created called Disorderly Conduct. We already have a ton of videos uploaded, so if you think you'd be interested in that stuff, then please check it out. There will be a card for the channel right now, and there will also be a link in the description. Now back to the video. I'm just gonna get right into it. Does anybody remember a pup named Scooby-Doo? Man, talk about a show that no one talked about as soon as the 2010s rolled around. Side note, I honestly didn't realize that this show came out in the 80s. I seriously thought it was one of those weird shows that came out in the early 2000s and then was never talked about again. It's weird to think that I'm talking about a show that's basically 10 years older than me. Now before I get into the episode that I chose to watch for today, let me dive into some background. So apparently it's the 8th incarnation of the Scooby-Doo franchise depicting younger versions of Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Gang doing what else? Solving mysteries. This show basically was like every other Scooby-Doo show that came before it, the only difference is there were kids. The show premiered on September 1988, lasting 4 seasons and only having 27 episodes in total. It ultimately ended in August 1991. Now this was definitely a show I used to watch over and over again, but I don't remember any of it. So to get reacclimated with the show and jog my memory, I chose a random episode, WrestleManiacs. So the intro plays with the catchiest song in the world and we start out at the CWF Wrestling Arena. The gang is watching some wrestling as Shaggy and Scooby are dressed up as superheroes. The kids meet up with some weird businesswoman who owns a toy store and they talk about cat litter for some reason. Suddenly out of nowhere as two guys are wrestling in the ring a big hole appears resulting in one of them falling in and a weird cow man wrestler thing emerges who Freddy dubs It's the cow ghost! which is a pretty bad name. He picks up Shaggy and Scooby and he calls himself the ghost of the hooded heifer. Okay yeah that's not that's not a better name. Scooby pulls out cow repellent, which is just barbecue sauce, and sprays him in the face. He runs away. A wrestler comes out of the hole in the ring and tells a scary background story of the hooded heifer. He was a horrible wrestler who would fight the crowd and do anything to win a match. He was eventually kicked out of the CWF, but swore to come back for revenge. So not really a ghost, but an asshole who can't get over things. The wrestler who's telling the story says he's going on vacation until the cow is taken care of, and as he leaves, he drops some remote control that he says is for TV. The gang goes to search for clues, and Scooby finds one. Turns out it's a cancelled check, and they find some insane wrestling fanatic dressed up as Little Bo Peep, who has a ton of CWF merch. At first I thought he was a wrestler, but no, he's just some rando. Also, yes, he does have sheep. They break into the SSWF building, a competitor wrestling league, to find some more clues. As Shaggy and Scoob are making sandwiches in the snack bar, they run into the hooded heifer and a chase ensues. Shaggy pulls out a jetpack helmet and he flies away with Scoob. But then a few seconds later, he's behind the souvenir stand trying to sell the ghost some shit. Meanwhile, Fred, Daphne, and Velma walk into the office of creepy twins that run the place. Some scrawny guy, who apparently is their star wrestler named Neville, is called in and kicks the kids out of the office because Shaggy and Scooby refuse to fight him in the ring. They meet up with the ghost, and Scooby comes up with the idea of bullfighting the ghost. It doesn't really do anything, so Scooby just tangles with him and spins him out of the hallway. Velma finds a clue which turns out to be a letter with a cow hoof stamped onto it from a guy named Baron Scuzzball. They go back to CWF and talk to Baron Scuzzball who's pissed because he isn't allowed to cheat while fighting. Turns out the letter was an apology to his mother because she too is a wrestler and he put her in a headlock during a match. <laughs> she comes in and takes him away. The gang has a useless interaction with the businesswoman for a few seconds and then leave. They run into the ghost again and yet another chase occurs. This time it's a musical montage with dancing and singing. The heifer is scared away and Velma has a plan. Scooby and Hooded Heifer duke it out in the ring. It's not really much of a fight though because the ghost just begins chasing Scooby around the ring. The kids accidentally capture Scooby instead of the cow and before he can attack them, Scooby begins riding him like a mechanical bull. The Hooded Heifer is tangled in the rope, Daphne makes a bad joke, and the cow is revealed to be Herbert Blonde, the wrestler that told the story of the cow ghost at the beginning of the episode. The episode ends with Shaggy and Scooby dancing in the ring. Honestly, I adored this episode. It brought back great memories and nostalgia of watching the show as a kid. And that's really all I have to say about it. There's really nothing that bothered me about the episode or anything. It's, it's a harmless show with the same old characters we grew to know and love. So I, I highly recommend it if you enjoy Scooby-Doo. If there's any shows or movies that you would like for me to talk about in an episode, 
Just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to watch more content like this. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.